Now, how do you remember your time in junior college? Was it a fantastic two years where you experienced a lot of firsts? Or was it a bit of a shock when you encountered unexpected challenges? Our next guest was a student who had to redo her first year in junior college. Hajani Jagatisan, then at St. Andrews JC, was the only one in her class who was retained. But she went on to ace her A-levels, getting straight A's for her three H2 subjects and is now hoping to get a place in university. Hajani joins us now. Welcome to the show, Hajani. How do you feel when you failed to make it to year two? And how do you overcome this setback to turn the situation around? Um, for me, I think it was an obvious feeling of disappointment. I was honestly very devastated when I found out because I wasn't a student that didn't study at all and I did not expect it at all. So when my teacher pulled me aside and told me that I was going to retain, it was very shocking. And I cannot say that there was a concrete turning point that made me stop being sad. It was more of like, a, it took a few months for me to accept it. And I have to say that it was definitely because of my school's Head Start program and the people I met that year that made it much less difficult than it ended up being. Tell me about this uh, support system that you have, you know, your parents, uh, your teachers, your family, your friends, in helping you to overcome, you know, your experience repeating school uh, for another year. So this is something that I can genuinely talk about for hours because I can safely say that I know that I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for the people that was around me. So my parents have never, they've never made me feel less because I retained. My father was insanely supportive. He always told me that you are here because you're meant to be here. You know, this is the point of your life where you're supposed to be. And everything happens for a reason. And he never pressurized me. It wasn't like, oh, you repeated already. I'm, I expect you to score well. It was just do your best. Just do your best and I'll be proud. And that's exactly what I did. I did my best. I didn't face the pressure. And I think I did better than I expected. And I had the best group of friends that I could have asked for that made me feel like it was never a competition. We just learned from each other and I had very supportive class. My teachers were incredibly patient with me. I had a specific history teacher, Mr. Chi, that always put my emotional well-being first before my grades. Every time he returned a grade, he would say the same thing. My grades, your grades matter to me because they matter to you. And that changed my mindset and everything because I knew that he was genuinely looking out for me. And that made me want to study even harder, you know, to make him proud. And that's exactly what I did. Studied really hard for history and every other subject. I just felt hurt. And I think that was the whole, like, so my friends, family and teachers all in, helped me so much in building that confidence that I lost when I initially found that I was retaining. Hajani, on that note, you know, now that you've, you've got your results, what are the next steps? So I've always wanted to go to law school and it was so out of reach for me, but I just applied for law school in Singapore and hopefully I'll be studying law, politics or economics in NUS or NTU or SMU. Hajani Jagatizan, thank you so much for coming on to the show. We wish you all the best in your future endeavours. Like Hajani, Gwen Lim also repeated her first year of JC and she bounced back. There are about 700 students who have to repeat a year of JC every year. Now you can read more at str.sg forward slash smart parenting.